darkest night. Hey YouTube, how's it going? I'm out, uh, I'm actually out in the country doing some time lapse right now. Just of some windmills up on a, gr on a hill. Uh, it's an awesome scene. Never time lapsed windmills before. It's pretty windy, so I'm kind of crouched behind my car. Uh, so the blades of the windmill are going pretty fast. So um, I'm gonna see how this works out, but uh, today I'm doing a microstock kind of trip out into the countryside, less about abandoned and more about um, making some money off microstock, doing some new things. So uh, that's what today is all about. So yeah, join with me. This is just my first stop. Um, and then I'm gonna hit another spot, so I'll, uh, I'll um, take you to the next spot here in a I second. your name in the darkest night. Because the uh, blades are moving pretty fast, and uh, I'm trying to do it a pretty good interval, interval right now, like a pretty fast interval. So with a Nikon uh, mirrorless, you can actually, uh, internally you can shoot, um, set it to shoot half second intervals. So that's pretty fast actually for a camera. So that's what I'm shooting at is a half second interval. Then I think I'm at 1 13th of a second just to give the blades a little bit of a motion blur. I'm not sure how that's gonna go or how that's gonna look, whether that's too much blur or too much or not enough blur, but um, first time right so uh that's what i'm gonna try to do it's just beautiful with the clouds they're all poofy and nice right now so it's uh it's great uh out here in the country okay i'm back in the car um so yeah i'm just gonna post those uh two or i'll post one of the time lapse clips right now um hopefully they worked uh, i just wanted you to be able to see it just so you can see how the settings that I chose uh, looked for this um, this this uh, little uh, clip of these uh, windmills running. So, uh, like I said it before, um, half second interval, one thirteenth of a second shutter speed. So hopefully that worked. I needed you most, and that's when you came. Anyway, yeah, when I was driving out here, I'm gonna go to my next stop in a minute, but it's pretty windy outside. I had to take my hat off out there to blow it away. But like, as I was driving out here, I was thinking about microstock and um, like the question that you really need to ask yourself if you want to get into stock at this point. And I think I, I, think I have an answer to that. Um, the question you need to ask yourself, uh, and I'm gonna sort of talk about this over the course of this trip, but right now I'm gonna get to my next stop. I, I um, it's gonna be another windmill location where I'll be shooting, uh, or sorry, wind turbine, I don't know what they're called. Um, uh, we're gonna to try to shoot video and some photographs. So I'm gonna get there uh, right now while the sun and the clouds still look awesome. A walk in a sweat. So okay, uh, yeah, I'm in a new, I'm in the next spot now, so just pulled over. Set up my camera, there's actually a little bit less wind here, so still got my hat on. Um, I'll just go and I'll show you what I got what I got for a composition. There's a nice little pond here, so um, got some, some windmills, some cow pasture, and some water here in the foreground. Uh, not the best spot, I don't think. Um, not as good as I was sort of thinking in my mind when I sort of scouted this place, but uh, that's what I'm gonna try to shoot right now, so I'll just show you what I'm looking at. So, uh, so I, I think the la the only thing that I mentioned, I still kind of, I've roughly got things set up the same way. Uh, I'm at one tenth of a second, um, and that should give me enough blur at the tips of the windmill because they move so fast. Um, half second intervals again for this time lapse. And then um, I'll do some pictures afterwards. But the one thing I didn't mention was that I put on a neutral density filter just to s give me enough, uh, sort of block that light so I can slow the uh, shutter speed down enough uh, that I don't blow out the frame. So shooting in manual and everything in manual with time lapses, that's most important. Uh, you want to be manual aperture, manual shutter speed, uh, manual white balance, um, manual focus, everything locked in. Uh, and then then you're good to go um, Otherwise you get a lot of problems. So so that's what I do uh, Okay, I'm gonna try to get a time-lapse of this uh, new set of windmills
Okay, so that's uh, going. So what I thought I'd do is I had mentioned that I'd been thinking about um, the question that you need to ask yourself if you're getting into uh, microstock now. Uh, and, you know, I've been thinking about it a lot because the money has been decreasing. Um, and um, I think what's true is, or the most true thing you can say about Shutterstock right now, or sorry, Microstock right now, is that the easy money is gone. And that's, I've been doing this for a while, and I made so much of the easy money. Um, but the easy money days are over. And so now you have to actually... Um, you have to do more than just go out as a hobby photographer or a hobby videographer and um, and you have to you have to actually do a little bit more work to, to make good money I mean obviously you could make you could make a ton of money working hard in the past but it was easy for people like me who were just hobbyists just to step in uh, take some photos of whatever they're photographing and make good money so um, yeah like I said the easy easy money is now gone um, I gotta check this see it see how it's going right now okay I think that's done actually so I am going to uh, take this tripod down and I'm gonna take a few photos as well just because it is, is kind of nice uh, it's unfortunate the blades the wind is coming in from the opposite direction so um, that I need so the blades are of the windmills are faced away from me uh, it would have been cooler if they were I think directed towards me maybe um, but that is what it is so I'm gonna snap off a few photos and then I'm headed to another spot that I photographed before it's a uh, it's uh, a bunch of old cars that are sort of abandoned uh, in a sort of a coolie or badlands um, environment so I'm gonna photograph there uh, and I'm gonna so I'm gonna take some shots and then I'm gonna get going um, but I'll post what I got here uh, and then I'll uh, get back to the question about um, what I think you need to do if you're uh, if you want to be into the microstock game now. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Wait back. Ah, there's this old Danish church just on the way, and the skies are uh, kind of getting blue. Um, and the sun's pretty harsh, but it looks great against this white church. So um, these might end up being black and whites, but thought I'd stop and uh, snag a few shots anyway. Go. I've changed for the better this time. All right, uh, that's it. A great little stop. I'll throw those photos up right now so you can see these if you're interested. I, I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Okay, on to those uh, cars that I was talking about I uh, just got a little bit of gravel road driving now and uh, it's looking so nice outside it's so, it's so nice, it's like the warmest day we've had all year um, which is like low 20s Celsius so uh, for me, that's good. Been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year. Took a wrong turn. Oh, actually, the road was closed, so I had to go a different route. So I ended up going through Bainon. So I can't hit those cars. Uh, but it's beautiful, uh, badlands, and the weather's great. So why not throw the drone up in the air? Yeah, I actually fly it sometimes. So uh, I'm. Uh, Shooting in over this coulee, it's looking pretty awesome. I'll show you the footage right now. I had seen this old spot from the road, so I thought I'd check it out, see if I could photograph it. Uh, doesn't look like it's gonna happen. It's pretty buried in trees. Um, so I'm just gonna skip this one, I think. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna just finish up what I was saying. Um, as far as 
the question you really need to ask, and I'm and I'm doing it in this video because I'm out here in the countryside photographing abandoned properties, which is what I like to do. Uh, the problem is, it's not really good for stock photography. It doesn't sell very well with microstock, even though I've tried a few different things. So the question you need to ask yourself is whether you can photograph um, or video or take video or make videos of things that don't necessarily interest you. Um, stock photography is about um, taking images and making videos of things that the market wants and it may not actually be what you want to photograph and uh, so it's it's actually not about work everything that's everything that is going to earn you something or make you money or um, lead you somewhere is going to take work it's always got you always got to work um, the real issue is whether you're going to make a sacrifice on what um, you like to do versus the kind of stuff that's going to actually sell and for me that's always the struggle is finding the right balance of you know doing what i like as a hobby uh versus um just you know shooting stock and uh, i think that's what you really got to focus on if you want to do micro stock and you want to make money at it and you want to get good at it uh, and make even more then you got to focus on what the market wants you can't just play with your camera like i do and uh, be a hobbyist and drive around taking photos of stuff that's interesting to me personally but not to the world so uh, yeah you gotta ask yourself whether that sacrifice is a sacrifice that you're willing to make all right I'm gonna get back to town and I'm gonna do some actual stock photography uh, before I uh, go home so hope uh, this was worth uh, your time we'll see you on the next one take care I ain't going back, I'm not falling I'll push all my chips and call all in I'll bet on myself, you keep stalling I hear destiny and it's calling I'll keep my head up high through the downs and lows And we're all going live, still nobody knows But I'ma choose what's right and take what comes and goes And ain't no one in life holding me back no more I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago But I'll be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago